Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. I'm Will, and we're welcoming you back, Andrew. Good morning. Did you miss me? I did miss you. Well, I've come prepared today, let me tell you. What are you prepared for with a can of black spray paint? We gotta ban the black, we gotta ban the white, we gotta redecorate and do what? We've gotta think pink. Wow, you have a lot of energy. And I don't know if you've noticed, <laughs> the camera setup is just a little bit different today than it usually is, isn't it? What you do? I am I thinner? Am I? Tell me, Kevin, am I thinner today? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Plus, the pink hat, I think, makes you look thinner, too. Oh, okay. I like pink. Actually, my favorite pink, I do not like pastel pink, but I love hot pink. I'll wear it any day of the week. I'll How about hot, you? I like hot pink. Yeah, I think it's cool. I'm not sure what you mean by pastel pink, so. Like soft, you know, like like flower Baby petals. Green. Like, you know, soft pink roses uh, and ew, ew. It's like, no, ew, no. ew, that's not a real color. We need a manly color. We need hot pink color. So since you were gone for the Thanksgiving mm -hmm. episode. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Right. Hello, anybody home? Hello? And after the third time, I was like, I'm out of here. I'm done. I've had it. Kevin locked the door and wouldn't let me in. And then Bob's like, mm, sorry, you've been replaced. So I guess well, I guess I have. <laughs> if only we were all that. But hey, yeah. here you go. Catch. Ready? Boom. Please don't throw that out all the million dollars worth of cameras. <laughs> I thought, you know what? That's what insurance is for, isn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, see how you right. missed me. Okay. It is out with the Beetlejuice and in with the Mean Girls. It's time to think pink. Woo! So that Ooh. explains the pink Santa hats. Yes, you know what? And what comes first of Mean Girls? The burn book. Oh burn my book. goodness. I mean, can you imagine the controversy and all the drama we could cause in Huntsville by having a Huntsville version of a burn book? I mean, just imagine the things that we'd say about each other. There is a Huntsville version of the burn book. It's called What's Happening in Huntsville on Facebook. <laughs> is that what social media has come to these days? Are we just out there to tear each other up and, and rip each other apart? Is that what it's all about? No! You should have been here when Joe Martin was on, Mr. Positivity. Well, I tried to bring positivity to your grouchiness. <laughs> <laughs> that to your grouchiness. But we had a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic time with Beetlejuice. Yes, 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 absolutely. I mean, you know what? I think the biggest thing that most people didn't know going in is that it was such a family show. I mean, all the kids and all the families and everything, and then all the people dressing up as Beetlejuice. I mean, they're like, oh, wow, I like this. I just like all the pageantry of it, all of the, it's just so much fun. I mean, talk about visual, visual overload. I mean, if you, if you didn't like black and white stripes before, boy, you love it now. Oh. Or you really hate it now. <laughs> Designer trend. All the suits in town, men are going to be wearing black and white striped suits all over town. There you go. Well, there you so go. what's happening in today's episode? I'm, I'm still catching up. I'm like, what's going on? What are we doing here? I mean, what, what, what's up? What, what's up? So we are talking with some people from Arts Huntsville. They have a market going at a, on at a Orion Amphitheater. Oh, like the ones in like in New York and Germany and da, 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 all that kind of stuff? I would assume so. Probably, probably a much lower scale. I've been to the ones in New York. Oh, excuse me. Number one Christmas holiday market in the world. Where is it? Dusseldorf, Germany. Bryant Park, New York. I, I've been to that <laughs> one. I've been I know. To. <laughs> exactly. See, I'm good for something. You're not the only one good about useless knowledge. <laughs> uh, and then we welcome... Patrice Bivens, mm. I've known her forever and a day. Uh, Jazz, baby. Jazz. Yes, yes. Jazz. She's tapping into my heart on that one. I mean, if she comes up, if she comes up here and starts singing like out of James or something, I'm, I'm gonna be like, <gasps> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> she comes up here and starts singing like out of James. Everyone's gonna be like, I love you. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to just talk about. Give the gift to Broadway and what we have. We're going to think pink for Mean Girls, right? Yes, we're going to think pink for Mean <laughs> Girls. Just think, all the kids are going to be home for school. Yes. What better thing to do than go out and see Mean Girls right before Christmas? Absolutely. It's a wonderful gift. And actually, it's such a great and positive, and, and, uh, I think, female-empowered show. That's one of the things I love most about Mean Girls. I mean, of course, all the, the, you know, all the famous lines. We're going to make Fetch happen, which... It still doesn't work, does it? It still doesn't. Why? I don't. Why can't we make fetch happen? Fetch is a thing. I have to say, I've even watched the movie and I don't know why we can't make fetch happen. <sighs> you're just, you're just the wrong genre. You're just the wrong. Whatever. I know. Yeah. I know. A lot of the jokes went over my head. That's hard to do. <laughs> usually, isn't it? So, 
Okay, with that being said, we're going to take a break and come back with Arch Huntsville. We'll see what pops out of me next. <laughs> oh, Lord. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes. <laughs> see you in a minute. From Tina Fey and the creator of Saturday Night Live comes Mean Girls, the hilarious hit Broadway musical. Entertainment Weekly says Mean Girls isn't a regular musical, it's a cool musical. It's smart, it's funny, it's ferocious, it's... It's so fat. Come see Tina Fey's musical Mean Girls at Von Braun Center December 15th through 17th. Wait, why don't I know you? Get your tickets to Mean Girls today at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Star 99.1 makes it easy to listen, win, and start your day with the early morning crew with Kevin and Miss Josie. Search WAHR Star 99.1 and download our free app to listen. The early morning crew with Kevin and Miss Josie. Weekdays 5 to 9 on Star 99.1. Mockingbird is now the most successful American play in Broadway history. Richard Thomas is Atticus Finch in Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. February 16th through 18th. Give the gift of Broadway at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Buying or selling your home, why not trust a legend? Huntsville Native Care and Farrell can make the process fun, exciting, and easy. Enjoy the biggest investment of your life. Call a legend, Karen Farrell of Legend Realty, 468-4626, or find her on Facebook. Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. And now we have a lovely three-peat return <laughs> performance to show and tell with da, 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 the lovely patrice good morning good morning not to toot my own horn or anything but doop, it's great doop. to be back for a third time all right <laughs> yes yes you're our looking... first three-time returner oh you know it's a tough act to follow just so they know and i don't know who's, who's doing your wardrobe these days but girl you are fierce this morning well i i don't want to give my secrets <laughs> away but you know i might have to give some credit to these two gentlemen, <laughs> to me. Let me say. Well, just so you know, I came prepared to go shopping, uh, you know, outdoors. Yes. And so I've got my ears, you know, and my hands all nice and warm. So it's going to be kind of hard to dole out the money. Maybe I'll just do a tap thing, right? Yes, just bring okay. a card. You so, know, that makes it so much easier. Why do you want to go shopping outside? Because that's what our tonsil has got going on. Have, yes. Are you new? Haven't you been paying attention? It's called a lead-in. A lead-in? <laughs> I just talk. <laughs> And we should jump in there. Yes. Yeah. So tell me all about this awesome Christmas market. Well, this is our second year doing Chris Kendall Market, and we do it in partnership with the Orion Amphitheater. So we're really excited about that. Um, so it's this nice holiday experience. You know, get you not in the Christmas spirit, and then you get to do some wonderful shopping, hear some great music. Uh, the Orion Amphitheater actually has their um, holiday, what is it called? Ho Winter Park is going to mm. be going on during that time as well. Yes. Oh, they got the igloos, right? <clears throat> yes. Oh, uh, just that. like in New York? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So it's awesome. Um, they are supposed to have some ice skating, but it's going to be like a little bit of a twist to it. So it actually won't be like an ice skating rink. It's like some kind of... If it's ice skating and I don't have to fall, I'm all in. See, that won't. <laughs> I don't know about that portion. So if you know how to skate, you might, I might have to take a few lessons. So I'm not that great there yet. I'm working on it. But, I don't. Know. I don't need any more problems with my sciatica, so I'm just gonna. I'll, Listen, I'll skip you and it. I both. I understand. Uh -huh. So maybe I might want to take your lead on that one. <laughs> um. It's funny where I used to live in Metro Chicago. Uh -huh. We I skated all the time. They were called ponds. Mm. <laughs> you, you know what's funny? I actually lived in Kalamazoo, Michigan before I came here. Um, so oh, uh, almost my impressive. Head. It's time for a costume change. It I think is, it right. is. Okay. Like, I got you. Don't, don't, hang on. It's okay. I got you. Hang <laughs> but yes. Um, I actually never did any ice skating. I tried to do some ice fishing a little bit. Didn't go so well. I was a little too nervous. But did you use the tent or not the tent? You just sit by the hole. Or yes, the I did the whole whole thing. With, oh. I went with some some of the locals that that went uh, some of the parents there. It wasn't my thing. So but. what? You, so what is your favorite thing about the Chris Kindle Market? Um. Well, I'm a little biased, of course. So it's going to be all the local artists that'll be there. Because okay. uh, you know, it's nothing like expanding your art collection and just you know really giving back to the ecosystem here as far as the art, the creative community. So that's probably one of the biggest things. I love to just see the plethora of people that we'll have out there, just the different pieces. And you find the most unique pieces, you know, mm -hmm. there. And also, my other second thing, it's going to sound a little weird, okay. But <laughs> I, I like to people watch while I'm there because uh -huh. I like to see the experience that other people get. Because once we put the event together, you know, you just get to see, like, how everybody else is kind of enjoying what you've done. Mm -hmm. So that's, like, my two best things there. So do I have to take out a loan to buy all this fancy art or no, is there stuff for everybody, no, there's right? there's something there for everybody yes, on every budget. Good. And to throw this out there, our tent actually will have our first tent there. So normally we don't have our own branded tent, so we'll have some merch, kind of like my cute little pin okay. that I have here. Look at you, yes. We, have, we love a lapel yes. pin moment, uh -huh. yes. And we'll also, mm -hmm. which is 
I can't really say this since I'll be working, but my other third favorite thing is Thirty Day is going to have mold wine. So we'll actually oh. have some nice wine tumblers there to keep you warm. You better so, Uber it. Yeah. So just Eventu saying. Eventually you'll get off work. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like great fun. When is it? So it is December the 8th through the 10th. Um, that Friday opens at 5. I have that weekend off. You do not know. I know. Oh, you did it just for me. So it's like yeah. You know, I mean, it's hard to believe that's this Friday. Yeah. Oh, geez. No. It's this yeah. weekend. Yeah. I mean, um, we just got done with the show, and we're getting ready for another one. And I'm like, ah, so I can come see you in the, in the meantime. Yeah, you can, and you know, come buy some great art, expand your collection, put some in the office, give them as great gifts. Because oh. I mean, you get one, you know, unique, one of a kind gifts that you don't have to worry about somebody else having the duplicate of. Now, now, just a minute. For him, if I get him art, it's got to be Sasquatch art. Will there be any Sasquatch art there? I'm sure we can find something. All right. At I least also, close. Oh, 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 all else, else, we'll just have him stand out there and somebody can paint his picture. I also like, <laughs> I've got one of those already. Thank you. <laughs> so that's, also, that's already covered. Okay. I also like alien art. Oh, okay. oh, oh there we Actually, go. Actually, I've got to say, in the hallway at the DVC, uh -huh. that samurai girl is probably the single favorite piece of art I've seen in years. So. Take your hands off of it. Oh, she bought it. Oh, you yeah. bought it, didn't you? You so bought I, it. I actually, I bid it <laughs> the other day. I know Raven, and I bought, like, she suckered me in, and I told her she did it purposely. It's, like, right outside of my office. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you did that on purpose. And so I was just like, oh, so how much? She's so it? regal and oh, powerful and beautiful. Yes, it's gorgeous. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Shout out to hard. Raven Armstead. She is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> she is. So, yes. but Fortunately, I don't have a place large enough in my house for yeah. it. Well, but so if there were a smaller version, maybe. Well, she does prints and she she does that, oh. so you can. Oh. Yeah. Might well, have to hook you up. Yeah, I have to introduce you to Raven. So yeah. it's it's this weekend. Yes. Um, if I want to get all the details, information on what's going on at the Christmas market, tell me how to get that information. So you can definitely go to our website, which is artshuntsville.org. Mm -hmm. um, all the information will be there, and then on our social media, which is Arts Huntsville on all platforms. Is there anything special that you can learn from like uh, the Art Central social media, like the day of the event where you mm -hmm. announce special things or mm -hmm. special so, deals or anything like that? Yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll have some of the different artists that'll be there, the musicians that'll be playing. Oh, you okay. get um, the timeline schedule of everything that's going on. But also too, we talk about some of the German cuisine that'll be there. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, and just kind of- schnitzel yes. and pretzels and, and, and German potato salad? You were, you were not gonna eat a schnitzel. Why wouldn't I? I'm German. I know, but you're not going to eat a schnitzel. We all know that. I, I like I like we schnitzel. We can try it together. I've okay. never had it. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh. It's not that he doesn't like schnitzel. It's just he's mostly vegan now. Oh, schnitzel well. Schnitzel does not scream No, vegan. mostly vegetarian. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. But <laughs> every once in a while, I was like, mm, God. Okay. Maybe so. we can find you some tofu. Oh, there you go. Tofu schnitzel. Tofu schnitzel. I mean, I we, could, think so. we could try it. No. It, could, it could be a thing. It could. It okay. Could. So, <laughs> we've got to wrap up the segment. Yes. We we'll always find some unique thing to ask for Okay. Uh oh. So, today, since we're going into the Christmas Ooh. season, mm -hmm. what's your favorite Christmas tradition? Oh, Ooh. so, this is an easy, easy one for me. So, Good. my family, we do a holiday party every year. My husband's in the military, and so, because of that, we are not around our family a lot. So we started this thing because we'd always end up with like this really awesome group of people wherever we moved. And so we started our holiday tradition, j Jingle with the Johnsons. And so we do that on the 23rd of every Christmas year. And so we give out gifts to the kids. Everybody does, you know, we exchange, they do cookies. We do like a, a gingerbread house or gingerbread man decorating contest and all that stuff. Awesome. You yeah. know the perfect song you need to do? You need to do Jingle Bell Rock like you're doing Mean Girls. We do. That's like my thing for our karaoke part. Nobody I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Cut me off, cut me yeah. off. No, that's my favorite part, so oh yeah. Okay, well, we have to jingle bell rock our way to the boom. <laughs> so we will see you guys in just a few minutes. See you in a minute. From Tina Fey and the creator of Saturday Night Live comes Mean Girls, the hilarious hit Broadway musical. Wait, why don't I know you? Come see Mean Girls at Von Braun Center December 15th through 17th. Tickets at broadwaytheaterleague.org. The Deep Comics and Games has the largest selection of comics, board games, toys, and collectibles in North Alabama. With thousands of comics arriving weekly, choose from the classics by DC and Marvel to the newest generation of heroes. Offering comics in every genre, The Deep has a comic for everyone. Selling your collection? The Deep is always buying and will give you the most cash for your stash. The Deep Comics and Games, 2310 South Memorial Parkway, just south of Office Depot. 
Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. We've traded out a three-peat Patrice with a longtime friend, Patrice. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell everyone who you are. I'm Patrice Bivens with Valley Arts and Entertainment and the Alabama Women in Jazz Festival. Very exciting. So you have a wonderful holiday jazz event coming up very soon. Yes. 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 And it's on uh, December 10th, isn't it? Yes. Okay. What uh, What is going to happen at this event and what's it all about? What's all the great details? Well, you know, we did our normal festival in September and we had a, a little rain. <laughs> oh, that dirty word. How dare it? Basically the only time it rained. <laughs> exactly, because it hasn't rained, it seemed like forever. So that was the second day. I hope so you sang Sing in the Rain. <laughs> we missed that one. <laughs> so, you know, we didn't really get a chance to complete that. Um, and the artists, you know, they're always really important. They come all the way to do this. So we said, we got to do this, you know. So um, doing a, a holiday jazz event is just a great way to give them an opportunity to do this and uh, gives the community a chance to, you know, get out their Sunday bets and come out and party a little bit and get ready for Christmas. So this, so this is an inaugural event? It's, it, no, this is an extension of our 10 year okay. existence. <laughs> but for the holidays? Though, for the right? holidays, for the ho yes. So for the holiday, it's an I inaugural, think, yes. You could I say think, that. <laughs> I think this should be an inaugural holiday. Oh, event. I get <laughs> it. I get <laughs> it too, yes. So talk to me about some of the music that people can expect to hear uh, at the jazz holiday. Well, jazz they're going to hear uh, women jazz musicians. You know, they're women in music, but they're jazz focused. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the women, you know, we talk about a lot of music education. A lot of the women actually are music educators. You know, they started, you know, playing nine, ten years old. And uh, they're going to do all kinds of music. You know, we have a local artist who is actually going to portray Billie Holiday. Oh. And that's going to be really great. Now, you just touched my heart there. Uh huh. Uh. What an amazing artist. Yes. My goodness, bless. Yes. Are you, are you, are you, I was really hoping you were going to come over and sing for me. I really want you to sing for me. Are, are you going to be performing? I am not performing. Oh, oh. That I, don't, I don't sing. You know, I really don't sing. I played piano uh, as a child. And I, I really don't play anymore, but I, I'm just amazed at the, uh, you know, Pro professionalism and uh, these guys are really great so I'm excited and especially about the local artists because we you know we need to give them a lot of platform and Huntsville is growing and they should be seen. I think that's one of the good things that I love most about Huntsville is yes. that they appreciate the art that they have here yes. and they lift all those people up and right. I'm so glad that you're doing this for the community. Yes. So uh, is there going to be a lot of your holiday classic songs and favorites, but with a jazz twist, is that kind of where we're going? Well, you know, I'm not sure of their playlist. Okay. You know, okay. I, I know that uh, they will do their <clears throat> traditional Coltrane or they'll do their traditional, uh, you know, like I said, Billie Holiday. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that some of them will incorporate some type of uh, holiday music in. Good. Uh, Good. So it's going to be great. So where can people find out more information about you? Uh, go to Best of Huntsville, grab those tickets, or, you know, at the door, go to valleyartsandentertainment.org, and everything is there. So it's at campus 805. Is it inside or outside? We're not doing the rain again. Oh, <laughs> either that or you hand out umbrellas, right? <laughs> we will be inside of the auditorium. And uh, Bubba's Catering is going to you know, provide some really good cuisine. So he I'm happy, I'm he happy, has. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So we're, we're just gonna have a really good time, you know, a pre-holiday, just get people in the mood and ready so for Christmas. When you say break out your Sunday best and come out, <laughs> our version of Sunday best may be a little different. What should I wear? Okay, you should wear, um, I mean, if you wanna wear glitz and glamour, you know, or if you, know, just, you, you know, want to wear a glitz and glamour, yeah, or I mean, can you imagine that? I think him, sharp. him, glitz and glamour. 
I've, I've got a red sequin jacket. And he uh, envies it every time I put it on. Bring it on. It on bring it on. Or I, have you... a, I do have a red corduroy jacket. <laughs> yeah, it's very festive. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 a time. It's a holiday. So, yes. you know, uh, ladies, wear your sequin, wear your heels, or, you know, wear your business casual. But uh, I'm sorry, no no sportswear, no sneakers. And Thank you. No hats and let's dress just, for the occasion. Dress, dress to for dress, dress, dress to, to make impress. yourself feel good Absolutely. and celebrate the season. That's what we have to do. There you go. That's awesome. it. <laughs> That's it. So we always find something unique to ask all of our guests, and okay. this is the Christmas time. Yes. So, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Um, I am really a television person. I get on my couch and I watch every Christmas. <laughs> movie that There's there is. Wrong with that. And I just binge. I binge Christmas and I, I love doing that. So I what's just, your favorite Christmas movie oh, you watch then? A, a 34th Miracle on 30th. As a matter of fact, I watch that one every year, the the uh, the one that was made the black and white one. The black and white one. I love that one. So yes. I didn't realize until I watched them both recently. They changed the ending up between the 1934 and the 1990s version. Oh, really? The ending changed. Oh, really? I know. I was like, okay. shocked. Don't tell me. I've got to check that out. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll like the old ending better, but the yes. new one was invented for the night. Oh, okay. Sounds so. great. Well, I think it's really awesome that this holiday jazz event, you're uh, putting it together and putting it on, all these great artists are being presented yes. here in Huntsville. Yes. We can't thank you all enough to thank lift you. everybody's spirit oh, up, thank make you. them feel special, and Absolutely. spread the warmth of the season. Oh, so yes. thank you very much. Thank you, and, and thank one you more, guys. One more time before we go, when and where? December 10th at Campus 805 in the auditorium, and you can pay at the door also. I okay, what time does it start? It starts at 6.30, but we'll open the doors at 6 p.m. Awesome. Thank you very much, okay. and we will see you guys in just a few minutes. Mix 96.9, the best variety of the 80s, 90s, and more. The tradition continues. Non-stop Christmas music on your official Christmas music station, Mix 96.9. Richard Thomas is Atticus Finch in Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. February 16th through 18th. Give the gift of Broadway at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. <laughs> Apparently we've now gone on to the Russian segment. Hey, Christmas is very popular in Russia and all those places. Over the you see a lot of these in New York City, too. Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's good anywhere it's cold. I like having choices. I like looks. I like, you know, just... So... What two great guests we've had. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm definitely going shopping at the Christmas market. And holiday jazz, I mean, what's not to love? I know. You know? I know. I know. Jazz just makes you feel free. And ah, makes you feel warm. and it's like, it's like a fire in your belly. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, we've got the Chris, the Crystal, Chris Kindlin market. Crystal Kindlin. I th Patrice, honey, you need to come back on and teach us man how to say that word because he can't get it right. I cannot get it right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just messed it up. And then we've got women in jazz. But yes. before that, we've got something. We've all got something from the office going on. We do. Oh, oh, oh! He's so, gonna be. A, he's gonna be a giant elf. So if it's Monday, <laughs> you can come see us tomorrow before the Christmas parade in we'll, the VIP area. In the VIP area, Ooh. once again, we will be elves with Santa Claus. And so are, are, are elves like the dwarves? Do they all have their own little like idiosyncrasies? I mean, sleepy doc, all those type of things. Do I, I don't I have to, know. Movies kind of always portray them differently. Do and I have to I've be like? I've never personally met one, but I'm very curious to find out. Oh, can I be an angry elf? <laughs> Who wants to be an angry elf around Santa? It's from the movie Elf. Oh, okay. He's an angry, angry elf. elf. Good luck, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Okay, and what's coming up next for BTL? What's right around the corner? Really? It's mean on your girls. head. Mean Girls, yes! Which Woo! is December 15th through 17th. Yes, you go. And we encourage everyone to give the gift to Broadway. Come mm. to Mean Girls. You know, you can do a gift card with Rhythm of Monroe. Oh. Uh, come up before the show, after the show. You can get gift certificates. Pick threes. Pick uh, threes. You can get Mean Girls and To Kill a Mockingbird and Pretty Woman and Superstar and all kinds of great shows. You can. You know, Mean Girls and Pretty Woman kind of fit together in that. They do. They and do. Maybe even Jesus Christ Superstar. Mockingbird's kind of the 
Odd Man Out of Mean Girls and Pretty Woman. How boring is that? Oh, I can only see one type of show. That's the only thing that appeals to me. I mean, come on. Be well-rounded. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm probably the most well-rounded person you know. From all sides. Oh! Wow. Man, I just... It's getting checked off that Christmas list. I know. My gosh. I can't. You set it up, though. I went... There it went. Uh, so... We asked everybody that came on their favorite oh, holiday tradition. Yes, Christmas. what is your favorite holiday Christmas I asked tradition? You first. No, you didn't. I didn't come out here. You didn't get out in the mouth. I, I talk faster than you. So I got it first. My favorite, my favorite Christmas tradition, and I've had this forever in a day. Okay. Uh, you know, because coming from a law enforcement background, we would all get together before Thanksgiving and say, which holidays are important to you? Some people mm -hmm. really like Thanksgiving. Some people really like Christmas Day. Some people like New Year's Eve. Yeah. My favorite, because I celebrated growing up, was Christmas Eve. That's when we always mm -hmm. did Christmas. So I always do pizza Christmas Eve. Okay. With a bunch sounds of good. homemade pizzas. You know, you and I are in agreement on the whole, uh, whole last holiday issue. And that food, I'm just kind of, eh. <laughs> I like getting something a little different, you know. Does it always have to be the ham and the turkey and the stuffing and the mashed I potatoes? Have and, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's like I don't want to have to put on expandable pants to have dinner. <laughs> okay, so what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Oh, geez. Uh, I think it's all about the reflection. Um, I always love going through the house and seeing things that remind me of my grandparents or my parents or my mom and dad or whatever it may be. I love looking at the things around in my life that make me think of them and think of those things past. And I love the way it fills me with love, and I love to send that out into the world. Awesome. <laughs> that is a very Andrew Pat answer. Andrew answer. Okay, there I you go. Do the pitter patter because it always hits the microphone and it always. Go. Yep. Okay. So it flew by today, didn't it? It did. It did. And we're getting ready to do it again. Yes. <laughs> and again. And again. And again. And again. Again. I can't and wait for our next guest. Mean Girls is going to be here before we know. I mean, literally, it's two weeks away. You know, I got to tell you, I'm going to put it right out there right now. You know what I'm looking forward to doing, too? January 10th. January 10th. Stop. I'll say it again. January 10th. I'm looking forward to January 10th. Why? Why? Angry rent. <laughs> that's stop at the end of the month. <laughs> no, I'm going back to my happy place, St. John. Oh, that's right. That's I right. mean, I can get rid of this hat. I mean, get rid of these clothes and be like, ah, oh, relax. I think the TV people here really want you to stop throwing stuff around the set. <laughs> You're welcome, Kevin. You can wear it next. Go ahead. It'll look good with your beard. Okay. With all that being said, we will see you guys at the Christmas parade. There you go. Christmas Ken Mark whatever. The Christmas market out at Orion. And women in jazz and then Mean Girls. And then Mean Girls. There you go. Check us out. BroadwayTheatreLeague.org.